I felt like I was the MVP of the season. As simple as That's that. Simple as that. Man. He gave me a very nice guy. He told me to pick whichever one I want. And um, I did. So I'm th thank you to G uh, DPG. Hello, Kendrick. Welcome to Euro Hoops. Thank you for your time. Yes. So how easy was it for you to stay in Panathinaikos for a rounded round? Was it the motivation you had, the success you had with the team, the country, the love of the fans? Yes, it was all of the above. The love, uh, the success, um, and just everything around um, being in this club. It was easy for me to come back. And um, I'm looking forward to doing it again with my great teammates. Uh, <clears throat> just to clarify that, did you have any offers from the NBA that really made you think about going back? Uh, no, it wasn't any um, offers that that I really cons that were considered um, enough for me to weigh the options. So let's settle this. It's, is it easier to score in the NBA or in the Europe? I think it's easier to score in the NBA. Uh, let me tell you why. If you want to. I think it's easier to score in the NBA just because of the spacing, one, and the pace of the game. Um, more open floor, more transition game. And um, if you have speed and you're a guard um, and you can score the ball, it's uh, a little bit easier. Not much easier, but just a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. uh, Janan Musa re recently said that Madrid is a better team than Panathinaikos and they yeah. prove it. Do you like that kind of quotes? Do, do you think that these quotes make things more spicy for you, more interesting? Uh, no, I don't make it more spicy, but it's easier said than done. All the pressure is off of them. They dropped the last two, so it's no pressure at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to say that, but they got to prove it. Before the Final Four, I ask you if Oaka needs a new banner. You said me, you said, you said yes. And you did it. It needs one. You know what I'm saying? It needs another one up here. Seven, eight, maybe. Are you going to say the same thing to me now? Because Panathinaikos has done anything, but never back-to-back -back Euroleague. I mean, I said it last year. I said the goal is to get, for me, multiple. I said I want to put the seven up there, and I want to put multiple up there. So, so now, check one box, and there's more boxes to be checked. So I'm going for it. So Eurohoops made a poll for Panathinaikos fans. Who was the MVP of the season? You were the first choice with 45%. Who was your MVP of the season? I felt like I was the MVP of the season. As simple as That's that, it. simple as that. I mean, I came in um, and changed the team around, gave us a spark. Gave us the energy we needed, um, gave confidence to my teammates, and um, got it done on both ends of the floor. Uh, many times last year, you talked about officiating. Despite your great season and your offensive style of play, you only received 2.7 fouls per game. Any explanation for this? Some of the fouls came uh, with just being undisciplined. I could have I uh, averaged less. And this year, uh, I will focus on that, just being more detailed um, on the defensive end, being more disciplined, and um, just moving my feet and not so much my hands reaching and things like that. And what about the fouls you received? Okay, yep, yes, true. That's a good question. Um, I'm learning how to uh, play within that style of um, just getting fouled and getting to the line and getting some easy buckets, you know what I'm saying? And um, that'll, that'll make my game, take my game to the next level. And with that, I, I think I just have to be patient um, when I get it around the paint. Um, I'm used to going off stride in the lane and things like that. So just playing more off two, balanced and being more patient. Last year, you proved that you are the best offensive player of the league. But this year, we will see in EuroLeague some new stars straight from the NBA, just like you. So are you ready to prove yourself again? Because everybody's coming for you. Of course, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I know it's the X on my back, but um, I like it that way because because I'm ready every game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking no nights off, and that's just my mentality. So I'm ready for it. Uh, speaking of NBA stars coming to Europe, there was some interesting Instagram activity from you. You clicked the like button in the IG post about the deal between Van Fournier and Olympiacos. 
Is it safe to assume that you like this particular matchup and the competition at the highest level? Yeah, of course. Of course, I want it. I want the smoke, you know what I'm saying? Like, the better competition, it brings the best out of me and, and my guys. So, it's just fun. It's, it's competition, you know what I'm saying? So, we enjoy it. So, what about this uh, particular deal about the Van Fournier? How, how was that in your mind? How, what do you think about that? About which one? About the about the Van Fournier coming to Greece, uh, you have to face him. You know about the he was 12 years uh, yeah, yeah. in the NBA. You no, know? nah, um, he's a veteran player, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, that was a good move by them. They bought a great player over here with some experience, um, and they need it. You know what I'm saying? They 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 obviously want to win as well, so they got to bring in some better players. And I'm here again going up for another round. So it'll be an interesting battle. It'll be a, a lot more interesting. Uh, former NBA Toscano Anderson re recently stated that the G League is the second best league in the world. You, you were a guy who played many years in the NBA and now you dominate the EuroLeague. What's your take on that? It's not. Um, no disrespect to the, to the G League. It's guys in the G League that's grinding grinding their way, um, trying to get to the NBA, but it's a um, different level over here. Um, professionally, um, just the um, combination of guys and teams here is a lot more physical. Um, the talent level, there's a ton of talent in the G League and um, I just honestly think um, I played in both. So for me, the Euro League is the second best league in the world. Allow me to say a small story. A really good friend of mine is an Olympiacos fan. And he keeps telling me, ask Kendrick if he has any relative who can hoop like him so he can <laughs> sign to Olympiacos. All the time, all the time, <laughs> I swear. Uh, he's joking, obviously, but for me, I heard lots of Olympiacos fans who say the, the exact same thing. So I think this is the ultimate sign of respect from the red side. Yeah. Do you feel that in the streets, on social media or whatever? Yeah. yeah, I do. I do feel it. They they show me a ton of respect and love um, around the city. And they always have to mention, please, let, can I get a picture? But I'm not Panathinaikos, I'm Olympiacos. So it's, um, it's just a, a sign of respect um, that they, they respect my game and uh, what I bring to my team. So it's just an honor uh, to my craft and, and the work that I put in. You know, that's a big accomplishment. You know, you are only here for a year and they already recognize your game. Recognize you as a yeah. great scorer, a great player. That's not something usual here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've told me, I see the rivalry and how much they don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? So they can be friends, but if you're on one side, you don't cross that line and go to the other side. So it's just a sign of respect and um, I'm thankful for it. So you lived uh, and experienced the Greek finals. It was You are down too, and you won the, the championship. Yes. Have you ever experienced something like that before in your career? I mean, the pressure, the tensor, the, everything it was crazy. No, I have not. Um, usually eight times out of 10, you drop two, you, you're gonna lose that series. And um, we were able to dig deep and, um, and fight our way back into that series and, and get game three, four, five, which is, uh, it just shows the grit and the dogs that we have on our team that we can get it done, no matter the circumstance, back against the wall, down 0-2, we still get it done. So I'm excited to, to play with them guys again. I know who they are. Uh, we built the identity and some chemistry, so we just want to continue to build on it. There were some rumors about a special gift from club owner Dimitris Yanakopoulos. Uh, can you tell us something about that? <laughs> if you want. He, um, he gave me a nice bonus, a very nice bonus. Uh, and uh, I'm, really, I'm really thankful for it. <laughs> uh, we heard something about the car. It's, it, no? He gave me a car. He nice one? Car. He gave me a very nice car. Told me to pick whichever one I want, and um, I did. So I'm th thank you to G uh, DPG for, for doing that for me. 
And then one last question, how do you want the fans, the Greek fans to remember you? I want them to remember me as a flat out winner. Um, someone that brings winning to the table, someone that didn't back down, fight every night, and just give my all, you know what I'm saying? Just give my all on both ends of the floor, relentless player.